I would overeat on the weekends. I would fully binge, easily still lose weight, including foods that you love. I've changed the way I've talked to myself and it has changed the way I actually live my life now. This is my breakfast for today. So this is Vegemite, Vegemite, butter, butter. I've got two eggs and one egg white. Yay, looks good, I'm so excited. You guys some of my personal tips I guess um, I don't know I guess it's tips would you consider it tips mistakes that I've made in the past when I was when I was yeah when I did my first calorie deficit this is my second round I guess you could say of being in a calorie deficit first time <sighs> That first time that I ever went in a calorie deficit, I felt like I probably wasn't mentally ready to be in a calorie deficit simply because I had a bad relationship with food. So if you're someone that has a negative inf information, a negative relationship with food, I feel like you need to fix that first before you actually, you know, decide to undertake a calorie deficit because... When you go into a calorie deficit with a negative perception, I guess, with food, you will start creating these rules around what foods you should and shouldn't eat in a calorie deficit. And then you'll feel very restricted because you limit yourself to like certain types of food groups. When in reality, you can easily still lose weight. Okay, I'm going to have to pause myself there and further explain myself. What I mean by fat loss is that my goal is to shed body fat through diet and exercise as opposed to losing weight based on the scale. And what I mean by diet is by being in a calorie deficit, tracking my macros and calories to maximize fat loss and retain muscle mass. I think that's all I have to say, so let's get back into the video. Including foods that you love, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's just, that's like the first main thing. Please make sure that you're in a healthy mindset when it comes to you know your weight loss journey calorie deficit or anything like that just please come from like a place of love rather than a place of hate towards yourself it's so much different for me now because i actually work out to take care of my body it's not because i hate my body anymore that's how it used to be for me like guys oh my god <laughs> it's crazy how much i have grown like i could cry thinking about it um but yeah, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> not going to cry. But yeah, it's just now when I, you know, when I feed myself, I want to feed myself healthy, nutritious foods most of the time. Because, you know, it's a way of showing love and care for my body because I want to take care of my body. Same thing as working out. I love working out now because I know I'm taking care of my body. It's not coming from a place of hate and despise towards my body because what you need to realize is that you're worth more than your body that's like <laughs> i'm not gonna go on it like a full-on rant over here but remember you're worth more than your body okay you want people to value you beyond just your physical looks and that's the thing like you think you have to think about the people that are in your life and the people that love you they're not gonna love you any less if your body changes i mean they shouldn't and if they do um um i'm not sure that they should be in your life that's all i gotta say so yeah please like value yourself beyond just your physical appearance you know start with that and then you know just start with the inner work before you actually try to make the physical changes if that makes sense like i hope that makes sense but i mean you can do it at the same time do both at the same time work out do whatever that makes you feel good but yeah just do things because it makes you feel good and don't do things because you feel bad about yourself if that makes sense okay <laughs> that was like a, <laughs> i don't know if that made sense but i hope it did yeah so mistakes that i have made 
in the past was I pretty much cheated throughout my calorie deficit. Um, I was in a constant loop of, I guess you could say it was kind of like a restrictive mentality where if I did consume too much one day, I would be like, all right, um, I have to get back on track ASAP. And then I'd kind of like self-sabotage myself and then still eat over like my allocated calorie intake for the day. So I guess I didn't see as much results and also applied to my training. Like I would give up halfway through my training. I would lie and say I completed the training program for the day, but I actually didn't. I gave up on myself a lot because I didn't think that I was very capable of achieving the things that I want to achieve, I guess. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> I was in a very bad place, I'm gonna be honest. When I started working with my health and fitness coach, I was in a really bad state. Ever since I've made the commitment to myself to work on myself, for myself, the changes have really reflected on how I show up for myself now in terms of you know, my health and fitness, like I actually am committing to myself because I believe in myself more, if that makes sense. So this is not related to the mistakes that I've made, but I'm just, I'm just dwelling at the moment. I'm just like, just thinking, you know, I'm like reminiscing. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so also I did this when I was, I guess, trying to be in a calorie deficit, I would, overeat on the weekends i would fully binge guys it was actually insane I, I fully binged on the weekends to compensate for the fact that i actually did really well for the week and i'd be like all right congratulations 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 jill you did it you made it all right let's go ham and go crazy and eat everything in the pantry go out eat out and just go ham <laughs> And I feel like that was self-sabotaging behavior because obviously I came from a place of lack and scarcity with food. So when I gave myself the opportunity to actually allow myself to eat, I went crazy. <laughs> so my weight fluctuated a lot um, and I never really saw like consistent results because, you know, I just gave up myself a lot. So yeah, you know, if I feel like I want to overeat and, you know, give up on myself, I have to like take a step back and realign with my why, like why am I doing this? Okay, so another tip is to figure out if you're not working with like a fitness coach or anything, um, figure out your maintenance calories. Um, um, there's a lot of calculators that you can literally just Google. I got mine calculated for me, obviously, because... I'm working with a health fitness coach but if you don't have the funds to work with someone and you want to do it on your own I would say figure out your maintenance calories and cut only like 150 calories from that and work your way down rather than cutting 500 straight up calories from your maintenance because your body will adapt to that cut way too quickly and then your results will actually remain stagnant if that makes sense. Um, yeah, there's a whole like scientific background to it. <laughs> you guys can look that up. <laughs> I'm not a full professional at that, but yeah, that's just what I have learned. Yeah, so definitely do it gradually. You don't want to also, like if you keep cutting, you'll eventually end up with very little calories and you will be hungry all the time and you'll be grumpy. And some people that have been in the calorie deficit for a long period of time, they lose their periods and you know it's not healthy in the long run it's not sustainable so just do it in a way that you know is very comfortable for you so just gradually decrease your calories um, and obviously don't decrease it too much please especially when you're working out you need the food for energy <laughs> but yeah so that's just like a few tips i guess on you know being in a calorie deficit if you guys want me to address anything else, let me know, comment that down below or just privately message me if you're too shy to comment. <coughs> Pardon me. But yeah, um, if you're someone that is currently on a calorie deficit, believe in yourself. It's easier than you think, mind over matter. If you find yourself getting very hungry, you know, actually try to see if you're actually hungry or you're just wanting food, if that makes sense. You'll know the difference. Um, if you are actually really hungry, especially like leading up to your period, us ladies, like I think leading up to our period, we do burn more calories. If you do get hungry, 
you know, a week before your period or during your period, it's okay. Like, <laughs> your body's just working extra hard, so it needs more energy, food, to fuel the body, you know. So just listen to your body, if anything. So yeah, my period's going to be coming up in six days. So I know I'll probably get hungrier closer to my period. So, you know, I'm just listening to my body. If like I need like an extra meal, I will let myself have an extra meal. I'm not going to fully be strict on myself because the more you restrict yourself, the more you will want the food, if that makes sense. So you say, no, I'm not going to have chocolate today. I'm not having it. I want it though. I, I want that chocolate now. It makes you want it more. It's crazy. And my battery's going to die. My battery's going to die. No. But yeah. I mean, I've talked for too long anyways. <laughs> but yeah. Don't restrict your food. Don't. I swear. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Okay. <laughs> uh. Pardon me? Just a reminder. This is key. Water. <laughs> Yeah, make sure that you're consuming enough water because you never know. If you think you're hungry, you could actually be thirsty. I'm not saying that you should be replacing a meal with water, but like that's just a little tip. <laughs> I try to consume three liters a day, sometimes two, but no less than that. Guys, I think I have come to a conclusion that I'm obsessed with taking pre-workout. <laughs> I just had pre-workout like 15 minutes ago and like I am addicted to like the buzz that I get, you know, like the excitement I get and like I just feel like I have so much more energy to give, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm in like a better mood. I'm so motivated to just do stuff <laughs> because of this pre-workout. I'm like, oh my god, this is actually kind of bad that I'm relying on pre-workout now to get me going. And um, I've been taking it like three times a week, sometimes four. <laughs> I used to take it just on leg days, but now I'm kind of addicted to taking it even on upper body days. Just because I love like the feeling I get when I work out. Or like just even the feeling I get from taking pre-workout. <sighs> I'm addicted. But yeah, it's a little update. <laughs> yeah. Currently taking some, taking, <laughs> eating some Skittles to give myself like a sugar, a sugar hit because these hip thrusts are not, they're not easy today. They're not, <laughs> they're a bit of a struggle. So usually when I feel like I need like a quick sugar hit to get me through my workout, Skittles, just a small packet of Skittles and it, it works really, really well. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good night. When we wake up still on the best side. Da 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 you know, <laughs> my brain likes to play tricks on me. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just try, I'm gonna try attempt 80 kilos, one and one quarter, and I did it today. And I did like eight reps, and then I tried another six, and I did it. It's so funny how your mind plays with you, but if you just push yourself that extra bit and prove to yourself that you can do it, your confidence level will just escalate. Like honestly, my confidence is like up here right now because I actually did what I didn't think I could do, if that makes sense. So I'm just like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm just like, yeah, I did that. Oh, my butt hurts. I actually can't sit on it. It hurts that much. <laughs> I actually can't sit on it. I'm just like, <laughs> don't let your mind play games with you. Try, push yourself in whatever it is that you want to do. It doesn't have to be just weightlifting. It literally can be applied to anything. Test yourself. You got to prove to yourself that you are capable of the things that you actually don't think you can do, if that makes sense. Prove yourself wrong. Got me 
We're singing up the black like ooh la la Got me feeling all stuck like oh na na Oh na 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 Ooh la la Be my lady Oh na I just realized I have no rice left I still need to cook rice Ugh, the pain It's fine I guess I'll wait It'll just take like 15 minutes Even though I'm kinda hungry I, I can wait <laughs> Let's just stare at each other while we wait for the rice to cook. The rice is taking a lot longer than I thought. Okay. And I'm really hungry. So. Mm. We're doing the TikTok trend, except not with salmon, but with tuna, and instead of QP, Perinase. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good. I had it the other day, and I am obsessed. Like, I've been having it every day for three days in a row now. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yes, I like soy sauce on rice. It's actually really good. Yep, yep. I find that when I'm lacking in the protein department, I like to always go for tuna. Specifically the Aldi tuna. Oh, spicy tuna hits. I just, I can't take spring water or anything like that. I prefer spicy tuna. I rely heavily on tuna because it's got like 38 grams of protein for the whole can. My main protein sources are protein powders. I like to supplement with protein powders. Even bread has protein in it. Eggs, yogurt, like the yogurt that I get has 18 grams of protein for the serving that I put in. That's actually a lot for yogurt. So yeah, go for like some Greek yogurt. Yopro has really good protein in it. Um, that's if you consume dairy. I've kind of just, I've kind of just, um, <coughs> pardon me, decided that I'm just gonna allow myself to consume yogurt just to hit my protein target as well as consume animal products i know not everyone likes to consume animal products for me it's just easier i guess to hit my protein target to consume animal products but you can definitely hit pro up uh, like protein without consuming animal products like tofu protein powder <laughs> honestly fish has a pretty good source of protein in it basa baramandi Trevole, and I would just like pan fry it, air fry it, and if you season it right, it tastes good. I just realized, so I had like this belief about myself that I didn't think I was actually physically capable to achieve any of my goals. Once I changed like the narrative in my head about with the way I view myself, and started kind of being more encouraging I actually changed my self-belief if that makes sense like I actually started believing in myself because the more that you repeat certain things I guess like so hard to explain but pretty much once you actually start you know talking positively to yourself frequently and affirming yourself positively you're subconsciously going to start actually believing that because they say that a belief is a repeated thought if that makes sense so like if you repeat that positive thought about yourself as often as possible the more likely that you'll actually start believing that you know <laughs> like honestly like say i am strong and over time if you keep saying that you actually believe that you're strong and the things that you couldn't do before you can do now because you actually believe that you can do it you know what I'm saying you know that's why I don't talk bad about myself anymore because it then becomes a belief if I repeat it enough so I used to be very good at that I feel like my friends and I bonded over 
feeling sorry for ourselves and just bonded over just being negative towards ourselves like, but now I have changed the way I've talked to myself and it has changed the way I actually live my life now like I'm still working on it it's not perfect for me but I've definitely seen an improvement in my life because of the way I talk to myself affirm yourself in a positive way and then eventually you'll get used to actually talking more positively towards yourself it will become like a a normal thing and you'll actually start seeing better results if that makes sense small changes every day just say something nice to yourself today anything eventually you'll start kind of appreciating yourself more you do you